This is a DJI Mini 2, a tiny 4K drone that is a successor to the DJI Mavic Mini. Hi guys, you're watching CineD, my name is Nino. Just over a year ago, DJI announced the Mavic Mini, a 249 gram super light and super small foldable drone, which was amazing for what it is. 250 grams is the legal limit in many countries to need a drone license. For anything below, you very often don't need a drone license. And this is what this drone was targeted at. Also, of course, at beginners. Now, of course, there were some downsides with the original Mavic Mini. First of all, it used 2.7K resolution, not the expected 4K that we've really come to expect from new drones and cameras all over the place. In its original release, it also wasn't possible to control shutter or ISO manually in the movie mode. Luckily, this has been improved with a firmware update later on. But the other huge downside was the fact that it used extended Wi-Fi to control this drone. Now, extended Wi-Fi isn't great. You know the problems with Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi can be spotty, it can disappear. Extended Wi-Fi is a little bit better because of course it uses antennas, but still it's not the great OcuSync technology that DJI has been using with their higher-end drones. Luckily, this has changed. In the new Mavic Mini 2, or actually it's just called Mini 2, they use OcuSync 2.0, which is their great image transmission technology. But before I talk about the new transmission technology, let me mention the resolution. Now it is 4K. and it is a very crispy 4K at 100 megabits per second. Now, the other resolution modes are still there. You still can record in 2.7K and also 1080p. In 1080p, there is a new mode where you can crop into the image like a digital zoom, four times zoom. Uh, this is something I actually don't like to use. Um, I don't see a reason for that. I would recommend you to always shoot in the highest resolution possible on the camera if you can spare the money for the recording media. And in this case, it's really a no-brainer because micro SD cards are dirt cheap. So I wouldn't actually use the digital crop in mode. But having 4K is great, of course. The downside of that 4K is that it's really, really over sharpened. A similar problem we had in the original Mavic Mini, there is no way to actually control the sharpness and this over sharpening of the image. In fact, there isn't even a picture profile on this drone. Still, as with the original Mavic Mini, there is no D cine like or D log where you can actually pull out some shadows or push the highlights or anything like that. So there's really only what you see is what you get. Now let's get back to the other great improvement, which is the new remote and OcuSync technology. Now OcuSync is a much better image transmission system. They are using it for all their higher end drones and in fact also the Mavic Air 2. And this is the same controller. So you have the same controller as you have on the Mavic Air 2. It's a lot bigger than the old controller, so why is that? Well, it has a much bigger battery. You don't need to recharge it as often. You can fly with this during an entire day, even if you have a couple of batteries and you fly over and over again with your drone. Now I can show you when you put your phone in here, I'm not actually connecting it because I'm indoor, but your phone will be on top here, so you see the controls of the DJI Fly app up here while you have your hands down here, so you don't cover the phone or the screen with your hands which is very very nice. In terms of flying modes it's the same as with the Mavic Mini. You have the cine mode, you have the normal mode and the sport mode. Now normal is normal, cine is a quite slow flying mode, it's not the tripod mode you have on some of the higher end Mavic drones but it is similar so it will actually slow down gently when you're actually braking or when you're not you know pushing your trigger anymore so it won't stop immediately it will slow down gently which a DJI calls a cinematic mode I guess. Sports mode now is the fastest of course this is something that you know from all the other DJI drones be careful with this mode because of course it also takes a little bit longer to stop the drone which means it's easier to fly into something uh, if you're flying fast. In terms of photo modes, the new Mini 2 has two new panoramic modes. 
First of all, the sphere mode, where 26 images are stitched together to create one big sphere. Now, I wasn't able to use that mode due to high winds when I was flying. It actually got stuck uh, on the gimbal, got stuck. But talking about high winds, I have to say that the Mini 2 is actually doing rather well in windy situations. It was quite windy when I was flying today, but it's still okay. It didn't crash or anything. It gave me warnings that it's windy, but it didn't actually crash, which is nice. The other new panoramic mode is a 180 degree panorama, where seven photos are stitched together for a super wide panoramic image. In terms of other items included with the Fly More combo of the Mini 2, it comes with a nice little stylish bag, which also holds the three battery charger, similar to the old one, and of course the drone and the controller. If there's one other downside, other than the fact that you don't have d like or any way to de-sharpen that image, it's the fact that the price of the drone has slightly increased by around $50. So the Mini 2 is $50 more expensive than the original Mavic Mini. But I think because of the much larger controller and the new OcuSync technology that is surely costing a lot of more money, I think it's really justified. It's $50 more for a lot more reach and also a lot more safety with this drone and I think it's worth it. The Fly More combo which gets you this bag, three spare batteries, the charger, the drone and the controller itself of course and some spare propellers will set you back $599. Now what's ironically missing from this entry-level drone are obstacle avoidance features. Now this is something that we have in the Mavic Air 2, on the Pro 2, the Zoom and so on. Now this is something that actually makes this less of a beginner drone. It has no kind of ob obstacle avoidance or APES features built inside, which means you need some skill to actually operate it, because it's very easy to crash into something with this drone. It will not warn you if it's really close to you, it will not warn you if it's close to a tree or anything like that, like the other drones do. So this is something to be aware of, because it's very easy to crash it into something. To sum this all up, I think the Mini 2 is a worthy technological improvement over the original Mavic Mini. And I think it is worth $50 more for the 4K resolution that you can now record in this drone, which puts it on par to its Mavic siblings. Unfortunately, still no way to control the image quality or picture profiles, and it's still a bit over sharpened, but I hope that is something that DJI can address with an easy firmware upgrade, just like they did with our request to actually put in manual ISO and shutter controls, which they did on the original Mavic Mini. So please also do this and get us the cine-like and less sharpened images from the Mini 2. Now, if it's worth upgrading from the original Mavic Mini, you have to think about that. But I think the OcuSync technology alone makes it worth that upgrade because it's now much more easy to control this drone and you have better image transmission and it's, it's harder to lose it quite simply. You still don't have, of course, um, the obstacle avoidance, but if you can live with this, this is definitely something to always have in your kit bag, because it's small enough to bring anywhere and always have ready when you want that one drone shot in your production that actually lifts the production value so much. All right, thanks guys, thank you for watching, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. We have a lot more reviews coming, there are a lot more camera releases coming, even this year, so please stay tuned and don't forget to also check synody.com. Thanks.